Hello, it's April 2019 and we made a trip to the Texas Hill Country in search of blue bonnets and other Texas wildflowers. Be patient for the first few minutes of the video. We wanted to show the increase of flowers as we traveled away from Houston and into the Hill Country. But by the end of the video, you will see we did hit the mother load and we saw some beautiful fields of um, blue bonnets as well as Indian paintbrush and other flowers. And the, the best videos we have and photos is a little bit northwest of Burnett, Texas, which is the blue bonnet capital of Texas, and now I know why. So if you're ever out in the hill country in uh, end of March, beginning of April, please take a little side trip through there and you'll see some beautiful scenery. Thank you. As we leave Houston, we see a lot of the yellow flowers, but not too many blue bonnets. The further west we go, we start to see a lot of the yellow flowers as well as Indian paintbrush mixed in. We see more Indian paintbrush as we near Schulenburg, Texas. We see even larger patches of Indian paintbrush as we cl get closer to Flatonia, Texas. We are now seeing larger and larger and more dense fields of Indian paintbrush, but not too many blue bonnets just yet. As we approach Walder, Texas, we see even more abundance of Indian paintbrush and some of the yellow flowers, and we're now even starting to see bigger patches of blue bonnets. I don't know how well you see that in the distance there. It's really pretty. We are now approaching Luling, Texas. For more details on Luling and Lockhart, Texas, please see our other video on these two cities. We passed through Luling, now let's go to Lockhart on Texas 183, where we will make our first stop. 183, uh, about five miles before Lockhart, between Luling and Lockhart. Check out our other YouTube channel, Ed Foodie, for a restaurant review of Black's Barbecue in Lockhart, the best barbecue in Texas. I'm pretty sure the pink flowers are evening primrose. And out in the middle of all these beautiful flowers, there's a smashed up cactus. Here's a close-up of Indian paintbrush and the purple flower, I believe, is blue gilia. Here we have my favorite, the fire wheel, along with the Indian paintbrush, and I'm not sure what the small yellow and the purple ones are. This yellow and brown one may be Hudson Flax.
You can also see a few blue bonnets mixed in amongst the others. Beautiful. Let's move on to the blue bonnet capital of Texas, Burnett, Texas. Now what we've all been waiting for, we are a little northwest of Burnett, Texas, on Route 2341, uh, right before you get to Lake Buchanan. We hit the mother load. Burnett, Texas, by the way, is called the Blue Bonnet Capital of Texas. Here's a new subdivision being built that's just loaded with blue bonnets. Show and Lefty. It's a great song to watch Blue Bonnets play. Here we are traveling a little further north on State Route 2341. There are miles and miles of roadside flowers like this next to State Route 2341. Let's go back to that new subdivision that was being built and look a little further back into the subdivision. This subdivision is a few miles south of Lake Buchanan.
These are not blue bonnets. Here, I don't know what they are. We hit the mother load in blue bonnets. Now let's head back to Houston by way of 290. Here is one of our favorite stops in Washington County, Texas, between Brenham and Hempstead. As we get closer to Houston, the blue bonnets slowly fade away and those yellow flowers are in abundance again. We hope you enjoyed this video as much as we did making it. If you're ever in the Texas Hill Country in March or April, please take some time to visit the beautiful wildflowers. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to Have Fun, We'll Travel with Ed and Catherine. Thank you very much.